Hey guys, so today I'm gonna show you how to make this stunningly, beautifully, regally, classically awesome Cinderella princess dress cake. This is really cool, let's get started. Now the items you're going to be needing for this tutorial are one dress cake, white, blue, and baby blue fondant, white, blue, and baby blue icing, and your Cinderella princess doll. Now to create this princess cake dress, I bought the doll pan. When the cake is done, you turn it over, and that's the bottom of the gown. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our cake and we're gonna cut a hole in the middle of it. Then we're gonna ice the entire thing with white frosting and then cover it with our first layer of fondant. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take Cinderella and we're gonna place her in the middle. And because we can still see her waist, we're gonna cover it with baby blue fondant. Then we're gonna roll out some baby blue fondant, cut it into a strip and create her top. Then we're gonna take some white and baby blue fondant, mix them together and then roll it into a ball flatten it into a circle, and then mold it around her shoulders and her neck to give her sleeves and a collar. Boom! Look at that. Doesn't she look like Jackie Onassis? Oh my god, it's so lovely, isn't it? Wow. So now we're gonna grab our white fondant and create ruffles for the bottom of the dress. Grab some white fondant, roll it out into a strip, and then pinch it together to create ruffles. Then we're gonna take the baby blue fondant, roll it out into long strips, and then overlap it to create a different type of ruffle. Place them on the side of the gown and then repeat the same process with the white fondant. Then we're gonna take the blue fondant, roll it out into a long panel and place that on top. Boom! So all of our fondant work is done. Let's grab some icing and add some details. It's really weird to think that I've never seen the entire animated Disney movie all the way through, but I've heard the story so many times that I can just tell you almost everything about it. Finding Prince Charming is the most sickeningly unrealistic idea of how to meet a man ever. And even as I grow older, I think I still romanticize that idea as being possible. <laughs> and we all know it's not possible. In Chris Rock's movie Top 5, his love interest, played by Rosario Dawson, talks to him about Cinderella while they're driving around. And she mentions that whenever a woman wants to see a man again, she leaves something behind. Which made me really rethink the whole Cinderella story. What if those events didn't unfold the way that Disney imagined them? What if the glass slipper was left intentionally instead of accidentally? What if this princess, instead of needing the help of a fairy godmother, was in control the whole time. Now you would have to change a lot and I don't really know how all those events would unfold but because Cinderella is such an iconic character, I think it would change our fundamental thinking about princesses and how they should act. Ooh! Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. This is definitely the most classic of all of the dresses. I even had these butterfly details to distract you from all of my mistakes. <laughs> it looks so upscale. I feel like I need to wear an ascot when I eat this cake. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of it. <laughs> Let me know in the comments what character you think I should make next and I will try my best to get it done. MyRecipes.com and I have been working on a ton of new stuff. But if you want to see more of my videos, head over to youtube.com slash koalipops. Otherwise, I will see you back here very soon. Bye.